So I have a question, it relates to procrastination and it is from uh, Manish, I think, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And um, Manish recently was watching, I think, some of my videos on um, procrastination, which I think is a different approach to how to overcome it. And uh, so thanks for the question. And, um, and thanks actually, I should mention, my little corner of YouTube here, um, I've, I've got a few new subscribers lately and uh, I suppose a benchmark for me, a small channel here, cozy little corner, 500 subscribers. I mean, I think that's a pretty cool thing. It's uh, what we talk about here are psychological issues, talk about mental well-being, how to live more authentically. And when I started this channel, it was like, I was really making videos for people I was working with. So the fact that 500, it sounds like a small number, to me, I think it's great. So I continue to make videos here. If people are responding to them like that, it's lovely to get feedback. So I really appreciate it. But Manish's question was about procrastination and his attempts to kind of move through that block to action was to just, you know, he's heard advice before of just forget the thinking about it and just jump into action. Just, just take action. And I think he's probably asking me what I feel about that because, you know, he's tried it before and he's found that it's led to quite a number of failures for him. Negative outcomes and now he's got maybe a fear of failure about this, of this just taking action thing hasn't always panned out for him. So what do you do with this? This has led him to sort of more inaction. And what I would say about this is, I've heard a lot of people say that too of just take action, just take action. And I'm a big fan of action. There's nothing wrong with action. What success looks like for you is probably going to look like you taking lots of action steps. But the missing piece, I, I think, is the question, why am I taking this action? What is this for? And I don't mean in terms of outcomes. Forget the outcomes, because I think Manish, in this question, the focus was maybe on outcomes, and the outcomes can be good or bad, right? So you're kind of opening yourself up to having a negative experience in that. What is this for, is the question we can ask ourselves before we take on any kind of a goal. What do I mean by that? I don't mean outcomes, I mean what is this for in terms of how it's going to make me feel about myself? Is this going to be good for my relationship with myself, for my self-respect and my self-esteem? Am I going to use this project that I'm on, whether it be working towards a business you have or exams you're doing or something like that? doesn't matter what the goal is, a fitness goal, it could be anything. Am I holding the outcomes out there so that if it doesn't work out for me, I can, I'm justified in berating myself, criticizing myself, putting myself down. Because if you leave that option open, I would just say to you, don't bother, just leave it. What we want to be moving into is, okay, I'm open to taking action, but no matter what happens in this thing, this goal, I am not going to use it as a weapon against myself because that is, if you've ever read or seen any of my other stuff on procrastination, that's really the big problem with it. We use these goals, these tasks in life as weapons against ourselves so that when we fail or come up short in them, well, then we can really have a go at ourselves. So why am I doing this? Is this uh, success in this goal the condition for me to accept myself and like myself? You know, so it is a little bit deeper what we're talking about here. It's not just take action. Well, why would I take action? It's a very important question because you can do it for one of two reasons. You can do it for setting yourself up for later punishing yourself with negative self-talk, or you can say, I'm gonna do this because I don't care what the outcome is. I have a preference for it, sure, I'd like it to go well, but if it doesn't go well, it's not gonna mean anything for my evaluation of myself. I'm not going to read into who I am as a person if this goes badly for me. That's the question that we should be asking. Okay, 
Why am I doing this? What is this for? And then you decide what it's for. Because you do decide what it's for. You, do, you give it meaning. You give everything you do in your life the meaning that it holds for you. And that's your choice. You can decide, I know what this is for. This is for me to practice unconditional self-acceptance. I have a preference and it's okay to have a preference for how you want things to go, but I'm not going to I'm not going to like tie myself to a need for an outcome in order to validate myself because that is a risky business. It really is. And uh you can also work on reinterpreting some of these failures you talk about because failure is a very um it's a word that's open to a lot of interpretation. So Manish, I hope that helps. And again, thanks for all the, the new uh, viewers here on this channel. And hopefully I'll continue to make more of these videos. I started off making them for just people I was kind of working with. And I enjoy it. So we'll see. We'll see. Guys, thanks again. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.